Hi, welcome to the training session of SAP. Today's topic for training will be SAP Fiori. In SAP Fiori, we will be covering the above table of contents, introduction on SAP Fiori, key benefits to it, SAP user experience strategy, SAP Fiori app types that is the application types, SAP Fury architecture, SAP Fury launchpad, apps for SAP FICO modules, roadmap of SAP Fury for finance or you can say the FICO module path and the SAP Fury apps for other SAP modules. If you move to the introduction part, SAP Fury which means flowers in Italian, Italy or Italian language is the new user experience for SAP software. SAP Fury is a new application set that was built on SAP UI 5 on top of many applications including SAP BW, SAP Business Suite and SAP HANA models and or applications already running on SAP HANA as well. There are over 360 plus role based apps in SAP Fury which are related with many of the other SAP modules which you can take as a functional module like FICO, MM, ST, CRM, SRM and a lot more to come. So if you move on further extending the introduction part it is the new customer experience. Customer today used to or demand unexpected things. In the world of Twitter, Facebook has become the new expectations of today's community and on the other side everyone keeps their mobile devices so close at hand due to the speed simplicity of the applications on the mobile devices. These days users expect applications that are easy to use with a clean and uncomplicated layout. Keeping with this in trend, SAP is redefining the SAP user experience to simplify and improve the ramp of period for working with SAP as a front end user. SAP introduced the new concept of SAP Fury to provide a consistent look and feel across devices whether it is a smartphone, a smartphone or a tablet or a or a desktop system. SAP Fury is a new development environment based on SAP UI 5, O data services and gateway web services. It is used primarily to build next generation SAP application interfaces that meets the high demands of new end users who is used to the new desktop, PC, tablets and smartphones interfaces. SAP Fury aims at keeping simple things simple which is the tagline of SAP Fury. Everyone keeps their mobile devices so close at hand due to the speed and simplicity of the application on the mobile devices that these days user expect applications that are easy to use and more simple to handle with. The idea is to is that the user interface experience is separated from the backend applications and database functions. The tool simply calls the API's control and programming elements to build simple end user applications that can be deployed to laptops, tablets and mobile phones in days instead of months of development work. The focus is basically on usually usability or uh, uh, instead of system thinking. So this is a new concept that makes sense. SAP has already mastered the system thinking and now the focus is on the design thinking. This has a different focus on user experience instead of systems. For example, fronted applications should not have 
to be constrained by where the data is and end user does not care if the data is in the SAP BW or it is it SAP business suit the focus is on integration simplicity agility and fast data creation of applications that users can access without having to write functional specifications in any any module in the long run SAP Fury applications will replace the SAP GUI and will provide an aesthetic SAP front-end user experience it is delivered with out-of-box SAP interfaces and reports that are ready to activate and use SAP Fury primarily focuses on SAP ECC running on SAP HANA database so SAP Fury is also said as to be out of box content it is presently delivered with out of the box interfaces and data analytics content that is ready to activate used for several SAP modules like SD module HCM FI etc the SAP Fury initially content includes interfaces which includes the sales order creation and maintenance interfaces purchase order creation then ATB that is ability to promise interfaces SAP user administration interfaces purchase requests and workflow interfaces so these were the different interfaces on which SAP Fury has initially worked on and has moved on to the much more advanced part now on let's take a practical scenario that in today's time that the user wants to create a sales order have has been made just simple with SAP Fury he don't have to go to a lot of nitty gritties into the SAP system he can create it directly from his own smartphone or even his tablet from anywhere he don't have to rush back to his desktop in the office today customer wants information on the go and he is not required to get back to the office it is not restricted to a desktop or a tablet or a smartphone like another practical example is the managers wants the approval process to be more simple and in his inbox on the go so that he can approve even if he is not in the office and he don't have to rush back to his his office and his his desktop so he can even approve those approvals whether it could be for a travel approval or maybe a leave approval or whatsoever he can approve it from his tablet or even a smartphone with the help of the applications so fury started with a small level with just 25 plus applications for customers but now it has grown to over 360 plus applications and is with SAP ECC as a core and SRM so the more of the focus of Fury is to integrate it in the form of the applications for SAP ECC modules customer does not have to pay anything to use this SAP Fury applications it is a free application which comes up with the license to the customers now moving on to the next part that is the key fit benefits of SAP Fury the key benefits as on the screen is to improving customers user experience increase productivity improve time to value low risk decreased user errors save training cost and reduce TCO time cost overhead so SAP Fury make it easy for the employees to work efficiently wherever they are this ready to deploy solution provides access 
to prepackaged application that work seamlessly across devices that is data desktop tablet or a smartphone it contains fixed time fixed scope fixed price implementation using sap best practices and access to sap netweaver gateway and ui5 so as to access sap fury applications enjoy the flexibility to choose apps you need now and add on as your business grows so whatever applications which you feel are helpful for you that can be taken up on your tablet or for in your smartphone and those which are not required you can leave them aside and you can decide on the applications as the requirement changes it achieve so it achieve a faster roi that is return on investment as a result of this it reduces overall deployment and investment risk and errors ensures solutions is properly installed and configured leveraging the sap best practices it enables the customer to focus on operations instead of installation so sap fury has got a huge benefits in terms of different applications with respect to the present times so moving to the next is sap user experience strategy in this the strategy is divided in three parts one is new renew and enable in the new customer or consumer grade for new applications are taken in for example sap ui5 sap ui5 is the new capabilities that sap is developing today this is sap new and the latest ui tooling which is called the sap ui5 so the new strategy is used for all the new upcoming applications in sap the next one which is is renew renew is widely used for broadly and widely used scenarios so those applications or scenarios which are already in use so it is used for them to renew it further to enhance those those applications this is where the sap fury lies and aiming to upgrade and renewing it with new design and with new better options for the customers the next is enable tools for customers to tailor their value scenarios for example sap screen persona which is an enhancement toolkit so sap persona was launched with sap f fury which is an enhancement tools sap persona allows it to make business user happier business users get more done faster with fewer errors in sap persona because it gives the user or the customer tools to tailor their values as per the requirement moving to the next is what are the different sap fury application types the sap fury provides multiple applications both transactional and non transactional in nature transactional applications provided by sap fury can be installed and configured on top of an sap backend and on top of any database non transactional applications that are non transactional are designed for sap system running on top of an sap hana database over 200 applications are available now with more than more on the way so the non transactional application includes two applications that is two application type that is analytical and face sheet so there are basically three application type one is transactional 
and the another is analytical and the third one is face sit so here in the transactional application there are some of the areas where transactional applications are used by SAP HANA they are like to create sales order change sales order track sales order purchase requisition approval purchase order approval then my time sheet for HCM my leave request approved leave request approved time sheets these are some of the transactional application examples which are available as of now in the transactional apps whereas in the non transactional which includes analytics and face sheets there are certain over as said the some of the general areas where the non transactional applications are available is the finance part human resource procurement manufacturing and supply chain management so in the transactional part it takes about the task based access where the access is to task like change create or approve process with the guided navigate option is available whereas in the analytical app type visual overview over a complex topic for monitoring or or tracking purpose has been done whereas in the face sheet search and explore options are there that view essential information about the objects and complex will navigation between the related objects even SAP Fiori has got certain design principles the design principles have been divided in five parts one is role based principle next is responsive then simple next is coherent and then delightful role based design for you as per the you means the user design for the user as per their needs and how they want it to be worked it is the decomposition into task based experience so the role based fury apps decompose complex applications into a task based experience with one central entry point for each user the next is responsive the app adapt to all sizes devices versions and channels to provide a common user experience across all channels whether it is a desktop tablet or a smartphone the next principle is simple fury app follows one user one scenario and three screens they use and provide the right context context and meaningful data integration then the current user experience with apps that speak the same design language this implies for common activities as well as coherence for your brand as well and the next is the instant value instant value with a lower barrier to adapt enabling customers to adapt and users to personalize all UI are built using state of art technology such as HTML5 in SAP UI5 mobile Fury apps allow you to access the most recent version of your backend data through previous definition roles and authorizations now you can specify which apps and which data a user is allowed to access in the SAP Fury. Moving to the next is SAP Fury architecture. As you can see on the screen, the architecture has been des designed. The SAP Fury architecture resembles the client server architecture. The server contains the SAP NetWeaver as a ABAP ABAP layer 
which host the SAP business suite that is ECC on this below side you can see NetWeaver gateway to SAP business suits as on the below part with the help of ABAP ABAP layer and the SAP NetWeaver gateway components. The client layer host the SAP Fury front end components which are based on SAP UI5 that enables the device diagnostic look and feel to devices such as desktop, smartphone or tablet with individual device customization options. So here it comes up to your directly with the help of uh, SAP Fury with the help of NetWeaver and SAP Business Suite to the front part on your cell phone, desktop or smartphone. So this is the developer can customize the devices, device user experience separately. If using a smartphone, so show a blue color theme and if using a desktop, you can even change the color to a red color theme. The SAP Fury client layer interfaces with the server layer using OData or HTTPS access models. All the SAP UI5 compliant front end tools such as Visual Designer, Visual Composer and Microsoft.NET can access the server layer. So these are the different way outs architecture how the SAP Fury works as the front end part. Even moving to the SAP Fury launch pad, the Launchpad is a role-based, personalized, real-time and contextual, contextual aggression point for business applications and analytics. It runs on multiple devices using responsive web device or design and is deployable on multiple platforms. It is designed according to the simple intuitive SAP Fury user experience while supporting established UI technologies. So SAP Fury is in action in SAP ERP as well. The current collection of 25 role based productivity apps in SAP Fury empower end users to perform recurring daily tasks with enhanced speed and efficiency across devices. Whether they are working on a desktop PC, smartphone, tablet or a notebook, the apps offer role based processes that are personalized for specific user groups in the organization and that are intuitive to operate. This means that the user can complete all their tasks simply and conveniently in a single user interface no matter how many different SAP applications they work with. For example, sales representative needs to access data sets from SAP CRM when they want to contact a customer. But they also need to access the SAP ERP to create the sales order on one side. SAP Fury bundles the CRM and the ERP transactions that the sales representative needs on a single user interface which can be configured with ease to suit his or her personal requirements. This is also a context based and role based search function that helps end users find information that are authorized to access quickly and easily. The search function can be used in connection with SAP HANA as an SAP Fury apps that visualize the reports. 
So this is the overview on the SAP Fury part as of now. Now we'll be moving to the how SAP Fury is connected with SAP FICO module. So as we discussed that SAP Fury basically works as per the apps. So different apps are there in different modules so as to fulfill their requirements and if we talk about SAP FICO module the app which is there is MySpend. MySpend is the name of the SAP Fury application for SAP FICO module. If we move to the another modules in travel management there are apps for approved travel expenses, approved travel request and my travel request. So if we talk about SAP spent application in SAP FICO with the transactional app my spent which is a transactional app you can track the budget and spending status of the departments and projects anywhere and anytime. This application consolidates the budget and spending information and visualizes it in an easy to consume way. The key features of the application my spend is to view the budget and actual spending data of the departments or the projects. It displays the overview of a specific area including the budgeted and actual spending. There are drill down by various dimensions and to the corresponding accounts. So this application runs on the desktop, tablet or even on the smartphone. So the most of the applications which are designed in whether SAP FICO module or the other modules works when the SAP HANA has been implemented or you can say the SAP HANA is a mandatory part for having these applications to be working on because SAP HANA work as a database from which the data are been picked for these applications as a front end part. So the SAP Fury has these applications in my spend application for the FICO module and even now in the times to come there are many more new applications which is to be coming up uh, which we will go through in the next slides that what are the different roadmap in the SAP FICO related to the SAP Fury part. Before that SAP Fury has got the user roles today so as to restrict the user that what kind of a data they can access on the application. So again in this part there are different roles which has been defined. In finance if you talk about there are different applications roles which will be created or defined for accounts payable accountant, accounts payable manager there would be a different app for account receivable accountant, account receivable manager, cash manager, controller and even the GL accountant. So these will have these the app will be used for the across line of business and industries required accordingly. And the applications for the database today available in the finance part is my spend. Now moving to the next is the roadmap roadmap overview of SAP Fury for the finance part that is the FICO module to come up in the future. So moving to the roadmap of SAP Fury for finance as you can see on the screen these are the different roles and apps available these are the roles as you can see on the screen on the on the left hand side that is as today as you can see the roles are there for account receivable manager where the role is divided into receivable analysis then credit limit utilization promise to pay collection process analysis whereas for accounts receivable accountant it is for displaying the accounting document and displaying the balances 
accounts payable manager has the role of payable analysis whereas the accountant has got manage payable blocks display balances so this is the the role which is as of now in the sap fury part to restrict the different apps for different users whereas the planned innovation which has to come up next is the accounts receivable accountant where he will be able to have manage line item manage dispute cases process collection work list in the accounts payable accountant there is manage line item then there is cash manager for manage payments manage cash forecast liquidity payment in cash analytics and cash flow analysis and in the future directions to come up with is the accountants and accounting manager will continuous improvement and new applications based on the customer feedback so these are the different roles and which have been will be created and as of now available as per the requirement of the customers and as per the customer feedback which SAP receives and accordingly been developed there are even more roles as which are available today and which will be created in the next so these apps which now you are seeing on your screen these are the different apps in the general ledger accountant controlling and manager part if you look on to the general level ledger accountant there are different roles that is several fact sheets profit center gl account to display the gl document then manage close procedures in the controlling face sheets for main objects like internal order cost elements cost groups activity type display document whereas in the manager these are the different application in the manager part which you can look like my spend my projects profit analysis margin analysis these are the different applications which are available in sap fury for the manager level similarly with the planned innovations are on the screen to you that is to even to post the gl document in the future to come change the gl document <coughs> display balances display line items then manage the master data display financial statement whereas in the manager the rules which would be coming up in the near future will be revenue and margin kpis like revenue net sales gross margin net margins and in the future directions as per the customer feedback is to support the asset accountant because as of now there is no rules for the asset accountant uh, as of now so the new rules in the future to come up is for the asset accountant with new apps and the continuous improvement and new apps based on the customer feedback so these are the different upcoming roadmap in sap fury for sap fico module and these all the roles and apps which are there in the sap fico module is is uh, in the face seats application type as we discussed there are three application types one is transactional next is analytical and the face seats so all the sap fico applications and roles are are a part of face seats application so moving on now from the sap fury apps for sap fico module to some other modules as you can see on the screen there are certain other apps for the hr module that is the human resources for employees and for managers for employees there is my leave request my time sheet my pay slips pay stubs and my benefits whereas for the manager there are apps in hcm that is approve the leave request approve time sheets approve request moving to the next is in the sales and marketing again there are a number of different applications available as you can see on the screen in sap crm there are my accounts my task my contacts my opportunities my leads my roles or notes my appointments number of different applications are there in the sales and marketing part if you move on to the sd sales representative in the sd module there are creating sales order change the sales order track sales order then my quotations my contacts 
number of different applications are there and even for the marketing manager there is a release target group application as well moving to the sap fury apps for recruitment now again the application is divided into three part one is the employee another is the manager and the next one is the purchaser so uh, basically it is for procurement so in procurement my shopping cart and track shopping carts are there for employees for manager there is approved shopping carts approve purchase orders approve requisitions approve purchase contracts are there for a purchaser there is track the purchase order and order from requisitions are there so these are the part of material management module so these are the different applications on some of the different modules in sap ecc part and this is the all about the sap fury so sap fury has got a a great future ahead where there are very very new things to come on where new enhancement new innovations are there to come a long way sap fury is our new user experience that leverages modern design principles to provide a holistic and consistent user experience across lines of business task and devices sap fury provides a role based experience that offers unmatched responsiveness across devices for instant insight to action the simple design across the most relevant task drives much higher user satisfactions so it's a, a very much successful part which has grown from 25 plus applications from the beginning to over 360 applications in today and every now and day every passing day number of new applications are launched and this has been done because of its personalized uh, part and responsive and simple in nature and is very very simple and consistent across different lines of business tasks and devices so this is all about the SAP Fury. We have just covered an overview on that. We will not be having any practical scenarios on that. This was only been taken as a just to give you a, an overview how SAP Fury works around the industry. And in the times to come, this will be a very, very, uh, the SAP Fury providing applications will be a very, very important part as we use the other applications in a day-to-day -day life for from our, our smartphones, tablet and the desktop systems. So that is it. See you then. Thank you in the next training session.